Mr. Truck here, we're in Colorado pulling. Trainers was a new 2017 F450. These are 30 foot low trails, weighted to 30,000 pounds. We're gonna go up the hills, I guess we're right next to the big hills. See how well it tows. Come with us. Catch the action here in this new 2017 Ford F450 pulling 30,000 pounds on a load trail load max trailer in safety green with rocks. We're going to take off for our first run. Push button start. I love it. Okay, there it goes all by itself. The glow plugs kicked in. The fan is on. Oh, there's a Ford guy sneaking in here. <laughs> they don't want us to steal these trucks, so they send sure these you bodyguards. Yeah. We're gonna race this black truck in a quarter mile. Oh shoot, look at the pedestrians in front of us. They'll move, won't they? If we go fast. Do we have an air horn? They'll probably jump out. We need an air horn. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna climb the mountains. I love this. It's got power tilt and and telescoping steering wheel. This is awesome. Wow. Gauges all over the place. Blind spot and cross traffic alert. Trailer attached. Okay, computer. Hmm. It's like sitting at the airport on the runway. I don't know. They won't <laughs> let us go anywhere. Have to call the call the tower. Oh, I'm so glad this is in Colorado. This is where you guys should do most of your launches. Yeah. I forget Texas and California and Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, it's beautiful was, out here, that's for sure. But I was hoping it wouldn't be 95 degrees like yes. in Texas. I was born in Colorado, and this feels like Texas. This is terrible. We usually don't have rain this late. We usually don't have humidity. It's usually nice and dry, and that's why I'm here. But I may have to move. Tow mode. Ah, tow mode's on. Exhaust brake. Where is the exhaust uh, brake? Top There's left there, right above the 8-inch uh, screen. Top left. Oh, clear the heck up there. Okay. It shows that that's on. So we've got... So we also All have uh, auto stuff. engine brake, right? Which is a little bit different, but uh, oh, it's a new feature, auto engine brake. Yeah, uh, I think we introduced that. Nope, this is. I think this, let me double check on that. Yeah, because that sounds different. Year we're bringing it. Is in. it a two speed, or you have so you have two settings? We have two settings. So you okay. push the button again, and it goes into. And that's auto new. Brake. Can we help hey, you? How are you? Hey, good. Last name, please. Uh, Barack Obama. <laughs> oh no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I got a tag. That tells you. It's looking. Like that's who that guy was. Okay. Is it Kent or? Yeah, yeah. And David's here too. He's on the camera out there, my son. Is he gonna ride with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do the drive-by up here. And I didn't hear anybody talk about a two-setting exhaust brake. You know, mm -hmm. Dodge came out with that or Ram. Last name? Um, well, if he's Obama, I'm Biden. <laughs> Joe <This is> Biden. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Kirshner, Chad. Fordtruck.com. Well, they probably love you here. Well, it's it's weird because the site is actually Ford hyphen or dash. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. they didn't put it on there. Yeah, they, but, uh, well, they didn't even put a dot com on mine. What the <laughs> hell's that? But now the uh, it's one of the internet brands' properties. But sorry, what, what your last name is? Uh, Walters. Mike. Walters. Okay, well, you guys cool. are all set. Whenever you're ready. Right, David, on. video that truck right there. Yeah, largest Ford truck online community, I guess. Is what oh wow, well, that's so, pretty cool. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It's fun. I'm going to, I want to take one of those up to El Dorado Canyon for the yeah. photo shoots. Yeah, if you want to go with you, you can go for that. Maybe. But it's, those are just little traders. It's a 17 foot box. Those would actually be easier than those conventionals are 24 foot. These are, you know, these tow better and they back sure. better. I'm surprised they're never been jumping in a horse trader, but I'm glad to see a few of those guys jumping in. That's what you should have in Colorado as a horse trader. <laughs> that makes know. sense, yeah. Yeah. No, I like, West. I like the idea of riding along with you. I've seen your videos. I like I like your stuff. Both. Well, thanks. Yeah, I help TFL truck. I help pickuptrucks.com. Flooring it, man. We're flooring it. We got our mirrors out. 
check in just to confirm, right? You have the uh, tow haul on? Yes, and I got the exhaust brake on and everything. All right. We are ready. Now, uh, David can jump in here. Hurry, run, son, run! <laughs> run, son, run! We're gonna lose our truck. Floor it again. Well, 30,000 pounds is kind of like an anchor back yeah. there. <laughs> oh, now we got boost! Holy cow, we got all kinds of boost. You know what the boost is on this engine? Well, you got a gauge right in front of you there. Yeah, right? but that just it tells me 0 to 40, so what the hell's between there? Yeah, but so you're, some, you're somewhere right around 18 to 20. Now, is the max boost on this higher than it was in the last truck, the 16? Uh, let me double check on that one for you. And I think it's uh, I think it's the same, but let me confirm. We got a uh, calibration manager Let's here with us. Okay, I've got lights on. The reason I like to run lights is if you drop a cord or something, you know, if you're plugged in. Right. Which is kind of important on these traders to have brakes. Wait sense. a minute, where'd that truck go? Where'd that black truck go? Turn it right. <laughs> which is the only way you can go, apparently. Well, not, no, we can do anything we want. <laughs> We got a Ford guy with us. Yeah, I don't want to end up in jail with the Ford guy. Yeah, that probably wouldn't go over very well. Well, I'll probably sacrifice him unless I let Gus uh, let go. Yeah, it yeah. was his idea. Yeah. <laughs> we're just dumb journalists. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> he told me to do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting because nobody brought it up in a presentation that there's now a two button, two speed, whatever exhaust brake. So now I gotta find out another thing. It's just too much stuff. We're gonna have to be here a while. <laughs> We need like a week of this stuff. It's like the 150. There's so many things came out on that, you just couldn't cover it right. in one setting. Yeah, two four hour sessions. Or yeah. Whatever. That's just not long enough. Okay, where is the mirror? The mirror's over there somewhere. So let me see. Try that one. Well, they said you could, <coughs> they said you could drive all the way until your flight home, and well, you don't have a flight home. So. Yeah, that's right. I'll be in this all day. Yeah. We'll go find us a mountain. <laughs> I, was joking with, I was joking with somebody last night. I'm like, well, we should go. Up to you know Eisenhower Pass. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Are we green? Yeah. Usually the launch course is thirty thousand pounds, but usually Ford's got the best launch off the line, and GM's got the best mid range, and then Dodge is that locomotive that chugs along. But I guess thirty thousand pounds is making the engine work. Who'd have thought? Yeah. Yeah. Because I've towed 30,000 pounds with the Rams up Eisenhower. And actually, on a Ram, where those Cummins are, even though they're six cylinders, the more weight you give them, the better they run. It's really weird, you know. And that Nissan's similar to that, too. you got to really give it some work to make it run right. <clears throat> I love this. This is that big cab I've been waiting for since 1999. <laughs> But someday they gotta have a bigger crew cab. Everybody else is bigger than them, and now Ford's got the big one off the 150. Now the common, the common cab really, really makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah, the belt line just weird because that, that 150 is still another inch taller on the bed rail, and this went up an inch over the last year, which I don't really like because I like all that room for new snacks and fifth wheels. But we'll see what that one inch does. That's what she said. <laughs> How much longer is this crew cab than the last crew cab? Uh. Don't quote me, but I think all three versions are slightly different. I think this one is three to four inches longer. Yeah. I think the Super Cab was like six inches longer, and then the regular cab was something like four. Yeah. But, uh, it's somewhere in there. Cool. <laughs> well, this truck has got so much stuff and bigger screens, It's to me it's a distraction. But for a lot of people, it would be a big help. You know, the backup assistant, all those things they do, I can see that where well, those first-time tours. And, and trailering is very intimidating if you don't do it very often. As a as a novice, I mean, I've done it occasionally, uh -huh. but I by no means consider myself anything more than, than an absolute novice. I do find the systems give me a little bit more confidence. Yeah. I mean, I still would like to be able to do it without the systems, just so I can maybe even feel more confident. But right. Well, the but Pro Backup how... Assist on the 150, it's fun to play with, watch the string will spin, right. but I, I would never use it myself. But I've been 40 years of pulling traders, so if I can't back up a trader, there's something wrong with me. But... I was talking to some of the Explorer guys, and they wanted to use that system on the yeah. new Explorer. Yeah. But they had an issue with the in the interior designer. At least when I had talked to them about it, one of the interior designers was like, "We don't have any place to put the." Oh wow! The, the, Fantastic. Yeah, those are the uh, whips. Okay. But I think it would make sense a lot of sense on a vehicle like that because sure. those guys are just towing you know, awesome. maybe once or twice Thanks a year. So. They're towing their toys and yeah. Let's, yeah, go yeah. in or. Uh, well, that's the like problem that. with 
on that 150, they had to move all this stuff out of the way with that knob and have to make sure your brake controller manually too low. Because a lot of times I'll use this emergency straighten out the trailer. Sure. Okay. Yeah, in the 150, when they moved that brake controller down further, you really got to look for it. And you don't want to use your peripheral vision. And you don't want to be looking in, 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 in an emergency situation, you don't want to be looking all over for it either. Yeah. You just kind of want to know where it is. And exactly. Because there. there's a lot of things that can save your life if you grab this and not use your foot brake. Right, okay. We're seeing knife. Oh, look at these. These little horse traders think they're going to pass us? Oh, they're funny. Look at that. Real funny, guys. 35 miles an hour. We're doing it, man. This is Boulder County, right? It could be, because I went through Jefferson County sign on coming in, so I knew we were out of Jefferson County. Wouldn't surprise me this is Boulder. This is where all the intellectuals live. Us rednecks stay out of Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're whipping those goosenecks. They're way back there now. What those red lights are for back there. These trailers have... They probably don't have backup cameras on these trailers. These do not. Okay. This trailer, fine. It's not really... Pushing around too much. That's what goosenecks are good for. 30,000 pounds. <laughs> Having looked at the street signs, if we're allowed to even pull this much on some of these streets. I would hope they would have checked that before. I, I would have hoped. I don't have even checked my trader brakes. Oh, I got trader brakes. Man, they got her cranked up. What the heck do they have? This? 10. Holy cow. I don't want to burnish the brakes all at once. Looks like Andre. Yeah, that's Andre. Yeah, that's why he's trying to pass me. <laughs> Competition. Yeah, we work together on a lot of projects. Tohomo. Grade shifting on this should really be good at slower speeds like this. That took quite a bit of brake pedal to do that. Let me actually turn the gain back up a little. We'll go to eight. Most of the times I'm on one of these events, they usually have these things set about six or so, which probably is enough. Of course, you don't do that many media launches with 30,000 pounds. Right. 7% grade! Whoa, we're going downhill. Here's your chance to try out the engine brake. Yeah. All that stuff is on tow haul mode, engine brake. If we have the right engine brake, do I push the engine brake button twice, or how do we get to uh, that just, other just one? Just leave it on full for this. Okay. The uh, auto, I was told, uh, for this drive, we're not using that one, but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty neat feature on longer grades. Okay. It actually will hold your speed. It's almost like cruise control. Whereas max, the other one, engine brake on, is uh -huh. like max engine brake functionality, right? So it'll continue to slow you down. Okay. Generally, when they, they'll, they'll do it when you let off the gas, and then when you give it throttle, they will shut back off. Mm -hmm. So the, how do you get to the other? Here. The, how do you, the, the button? I, yeah, you push it you twice. You push it again, and you'll see oh. a little A show up in the clip. Oh, okay. The, uh, engine brake symbol. That's, yeah, normally in a big truck, you spend a lot of time looking way ahead of you. Looking at the signs, we heard him talk about the brake was in regards to the uh, adaptive cruise control. Yeah, it goes on with that. They, they get to use all their systems just like Chevy does, you know, General Motors. Adaptive cruise control is awesome with the trailer because you know, I pulled a lot of Infinities and they had that on there and it says not to use the trailer. Of course, I did, but I love it with the trailer. Adaptive cruise control. Now I'm turning left here. Blue skies. Let's see how tight this thing does a U turn. Yeehaw! Okay. Whoa. Dude, this is cool. Didn't even skid the tires. Okay, well, we got everything in. We got 430 rear end, we got exhaust brake. <coughs> well, also an automatic exhaust brake, and we have tow haul mode. Ford does a good job with tow haul mode. They actually let you use it at higher speeds. That's when you use it, you know. Right. Saving your brakes going 20 miles an hour is not important, but saving your brakes going 70 is. Holding me on this grade, of course, this isn't much. Yeah, it's equipped as 81,920. Really? Yeah, I was wanting to find one of these that were 90,000. This says. I tried I tried pricing one up, and the most expensive I could get was 88. Yeah, that's the number I've seen. Because I think adaptive cruise control is probably 3,500 or some crazy thing. It was up there. I think it's high. part of the package. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's part of a bundle. Yeah, yeah. You're still in the middle. I wonder how we got here from there. <laughs> now this Audi's going to think we're crazy. Yeah, there's a trailer there, lady. Please do not run into my trailer. I'll move it. Okay, see, this guy will give us room. <coughs> the 
this is so many gauges you need about you know you need three guys driving this thing one watching all these gauges now we're two percent three percent we're climbing gotta pull the flaps up get the nose up three percent nobody's trying to crowd us and we can't have a stop sign in the middle of our run our grade <laughs> This will not be good. Stay green, girl. 4%. We're gaining 4%. Holy cow, we're going through a green light. This is good. It's always a good thing. Oh, oh, I see we're peaking. That was that 7% sign at that light. It's going this way? Then that way. Oh, so, so it's downhill. They're telling us what it is. Yeah, that's, so that's going downhill, I suppose it's steeper. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that was our, that was, geez. Well, that was quite an event there. It's scary for me to have to deal with bicycles every day on my way to work or someplace. I know we had almost hit one of them. Just daydream a little bit and there they are. There's your blind spot. Of course, this one doesn't have the trailer wiring on that 12 pin, so you wouldn't have the bliss on this truck, would you, with this trailer? Does it go, what, 33 feet back? Yeah, I don't think we do, but I can check that for you. Yeah, so that you'd almost want that bliss on everything you had. Just for that, because a lot of times, I mean, cars are bad enough. You can think about a bicycle in black like that, blended right. into the asphalt, trying to see him. It's just dangerous. Why would they buy black stuff? I don't understand. No, let's blend into the asphalt. Well, life's not a mystery, sir. Yeah. Okay, it's holding us 2,700 RPM, coming down whatever grade this is. This feels like about a 5%. Wait a minute, I'm looking at my gauge, it shows 4%. For half what a Peterbilt was, if our gross combined weight rating is, say, 40,000, you'd think we'd have an air horn. Must not be one of the rules. Wow. 41.8, it's up there. This paper is cracked. Yeah. Well, you know, you figure uh, 32.5, 32,500 is what's your maximum tow what this vehicle is. That's the cool thing about Ford. This is a crew cab, four-wheel drive, and it's maximum tow rate. Most of the time, you're dealing with a two-wheel drive gas engine, right. single cab, nothing to get a tow rate. Way. Yeah, this is very good. They, they actually give you the crew cab, the four-wheel drive, the whole thing. Did, uh, do you ever envision a situation where you would use the cameras on this truck? So I, I know this, um, this, like, I mean, you're just going straight mirrors and stuff. Well, here. with this, see, flybeds are nice because you got good visibility. Okay. If your car goes not all the way out to the eight and a half, I would on a, on a, like an RV or one of those box trailers okay. for that guys that come around the corner because I use mirrors on the back of the cameras to watch that and mine stay on all the time, the aftermarket ones. Right. So, you know, I like that, but, um, I mean, the backup camera's nice, but I mean, that part, I mean, in a hotel, sometimes it's really nice to see what's back there in the canopy. And I, I like them on a high, I'm a horse trader, right. so I don't run over the canopy at 11 feet or whatever there. Sure. But uh, I like to have a camera on all the time back there, so when those little cars snake in your, in your blind spot, and then you can see where they're at before you change lanes. Right. So that would be more important to me on a flatbed, on a gooseneck. I could use a lot of cameras on there just for the fun of it, but uh, to me, I just. Learning to do all that, learning to back up, I think it's good, but for an old veteran like me, it's a distraction because you're thinking about so many other things. For right. me, like looking at screens and, and looking at all these cameras, that would go nuts. Mr. Truck here with the new 2017 Super Duty F450. We are running from Dillon to the top of the hill, the Eisenhower Tunnel, with this weighted down to 30,000 pounds of trailer from Low Trail. We got a 30 foot trailer, 15,000 pound axles. Don't you love these LED lights on this truck? This is awesome. This is the Platinum Edition, so it has everything. You open the door, it lights up Platinum on the floor. It is so cool. And it's like an $83,000 truck. But we are testing these out here in Colorado, finally doing a big launch with Ford. 
This is it, the big, the biggest change that this truck has had since 1999. Come join us. Ultimate Midnight Ike. Super Ike, we're maxed out in the 2017 Ford Super Duty, right? Yeah. And this is an F450. So what's the name of it again? Midnight Special? <laughs> Super Ike. <laughs> you can call it whatever you want to call it. This, this is very ultimate and very special. Yes, very ultimate, very special. Midnight Run. I mean, it's special for a lot of reasons. Um, this is basically an exclusive eye gauntlet with the 2017 Ford Super Duty. This is the F450. Yes, platinum. 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 It's the top of the line. It's top of the line. Do you want to know how much this retails for I'm with, gonna, in, with destination? Do you know? I have a guess. I would what, guess somewhere in that uh, $88,000 range. No, it's 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 not 88. It's not? It's 83000 Really? $45. Well, what are we missing? We've got the, what, the super moonroof, we've got the adaptive cruise control. What option do we not have? we got the rainboards that pop out the side. We, we have a lot of options here. What else are we missing? Because I know that there's a way of getting one of these up to 88000 What options do I not have? Well, we've got bliss, we've got maybe, trailer. Maybe ramps or something like this. You know, there's, well, this some, not, yeah. there's some accessories with that come with the truck that we may not have. And because we're not pulling like a horse trailer, pulling a flatbed, we may not have that trailer camera option with the 30 feet of cord right. and all that. And we're pulling dually so they don't really can't do the uh, tire pressure monitoring. So there's right. a couple things we may not have, but I mean, that's that's not... 83,000, you could buy one of these. Yeah, buy sure. Your taxes. This is a special section 179 of the IRS code. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, wide open. Two degrees, so four percent grade. We are climbing. I suppose I should do the flashers at this speed. Okay. So we're coming up. We, we haven't started the I got yet. Right. We gotta go through the tunnel. All new truck, aluminum body, boxed frame. It's really new, I mean, from the ground up. Yes, I mean, I I remember in 1999 what they were like when they came out with the Super Duty. When they, you know the heavy duties was 97, they didn't make a 98. 99 had the big C channel frame, and it had uh, four wheel disc brakes. That was new in 99. Okay. That crew cab that went on for what it was 17 years, whatever many years it was, up until this, from 1999 to 2017, this was the same truck, same frame, same everything. Little improvements on the brakes. Changes Look, the we have light. We do. Hey, we can see everybody. This is awesome. We have light. We're going to the this is the Johnson Tunnel. Uh, yep. So we'll pop out the Johnson Tunnel and go down and, and try start this cruise control. Start the Super Midnight Ike. Yeah, we've got to get it up to 50 miles an hour using the adaptive cruise control. This also has adaptive steering, which is really nice. The flashers are still on. Aren't I know they are. I can only run too many systems at a time. <laughs> So we did that one, and now I'll do this one. It's a 66, and so now I've got to back it down on the speed. So let me set it down to 50. Yeah, let's go to 50. And that's there. We're at 50, so I'm going to pop out the Johnson Tunnel at 50 miles an hour. Okay. It's adaptive cruise control on. And it's adaptive. It actually keeps the distance between the truck and the vehicle ahead. Right, with radar. So it doesn't radar. worry about clouds or fog or anything like that. It's not a camera system, it's a radar system. So this is a very special event. I want to thank Ford and our viewers, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching and it enables us to do cool things like this. Um, this is very cool because, you know, we're as far as I know, nobody else has run this great in the new 2017. No, and that's why you know, I wanted to shout out to Mike Levine and the Ford crew for bringing this to Colorado. We haven't had a, a Ford media launch in Colorado in a very long time. Mm -hmm. So this is awesome. I'm going to drive 30 miles and get here. <laughs> yeah, that's great. The weather is great. Uh, up at the top of the world here at 11,158 feet above sea level. Yep. We're at 61 degrees ambient temperature, so the, the weather is wonderful, the wind is pretty low, 
and we're towing a 30,000 pound We are 30,000 pounds. We're basically the maximum on this, trade, this truck, the way it's configured with all the options, we're at the maximum payload and maximum trailer towing capacity with these load trails with the 15,000 pound axles. And the way that logistics have worked out, you know, we're running at night. But actually, there's less traffic, so it's actually a little bit easier, isn't it? That's true. We don't have so many people in the wrong lane. We've actually got yeah. a good run. And let's see. It's have you, have you done anything 50. yet? I haven't, no. I, the adaptive cruise control, we will not be touching the brakes. We won't be doing anything. Just let the computer do its work. Now, the important part is, you know, we're loaded basically to the max on this particular model because uh, this Platinum F450 um, is rated at the gooseneck towing of 30,100 pounds, right. uh, 21,000 pounds on the hitch, on the bumper pull, uh -huh. and the payload rating, maximum payload rating for this particular configuration is 4,751 pounds. Yeah, so we're about maxed out. Right so there. we're maxed out on our payload considering our tongue weight and, and us here. Oh, they're braking for the Jeep. I was wondering why everybody's braking. Okay. Our... But, but the really cool part about the adaptive cruise control is, right? I mean, we're loaded to the max, and it's maintaining speed using trailer brakes as well, right? Right, and I'm gonna get behind a car after a while and, and let that radar lock onto that car and see if it slows us down or speeds us up. But right now, we're running right at 50 miles an hour, and we are at 3,500 RPM, so we're almost redlining it, and that's where it wants to keep us. Okay. Now, and wondering... you can see the gain, the, the actual trailer brake bar is coming on, right? That is awesome, because this adaptive cruise control doesn't just control the truck, it controls the trailer, which is wonderful. So it brakes the trailer when it needs to, and actually turns on the brake lights on the trailer. So this is just so awesome. I've been waiting for a system like this for a long time. Most of the time, adaptive cruise control is not allowed with the trailer. This is like a first for this. This is so cool. Gives you all that confidence where you don't have to worry about it. You're burning your truck brakes, or you're doing any of that. And the truck's figured it all out on its own. Gives you that, that confidence with a big trailer like this coming down. This is a 7% going down also, 7% coming up. So Yeah, you have 4 degrees now on your readout. Which means that that's, that's actually close to an 8% degree. Oh, oh, almost 8, yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty interesting. And the truck is telling us so many things. This is like driving a, you know, a space shuttle. All these, all these inputs coming to you. And you know me, I'm old school, so I'll do a lot of stuff on my own. But if you're a first-time tour, this will tell you so many things. You know, and they have all these backup systems, all these different things that will assist you in getting used to your truck and trailer. But uh, you know, it's a pretty a decent riding truck with this kind of load on here. So the, now look at this. I'm, it's locking on the trailer in front of me. And oh, and it's, it's slowing, slowing you down because there's a slower yeah. vehicle ahead. And then see, it's slowing me down again. So this is how it's supposed to work. Look at it. I haven't touched a single. You break. haven't helped it. Nope, I haven't helped this at all. And it slowed us down. We are going about 34 miles an hour. 34, according to the speedo. Right, and you know we've got the adaptive cruise control set at 50, so it's doing its job. Look at that. I'm not touching anything. I just steer this puppy. This is awesome. And I've got it to maximum bars that I can understand where I think it's keeping us the furthest distance that the computer wants. Boy, that brake here. We're looking at all of our dials here. We're in third gear. 10-4. And it's holding us. So the speed differential was about 15 miles an hour then because we were at 50. Yeah, see, there it is. It's, and it, it does this really, really uh, excellent at slower speed, of course. It's, and I've noticed a little bit of difference. The bigger the object you're following, the, the quicker it responds. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if that's something that... Uh, that that's set that way or not, but right now at this speed, it's locking on anything it sees in front of us. So how's the steering? I mean, how's the truck handle otherwise? Well, that's what I've noticed about this new adaptive steering, which you know gives you inputs. Actually, lets the lets the truck move further with less input. And I've always noticed it on the, the track we did yesterday, and a few other things uh -huh. that it works seems to work better with a load, with a trailer, or with the payload. And it does empty and you know that's the thing because your way your peripheral version vision works and all the inputs that you putting in for driving and looking through mirrors looking out and looking at the trailer that I put a camera behind me just just to see what I was doing because you're automatically adjusting all that even though the steering is taking less effort you don't actually honestly see that unless you see it on camera because it showed me that with the depth of the steering on I was hardly moving the steering wheel with it off I was spinning the steering wheel all over the place uh -huh. when I was doing a backup maneuver so this is very interesting is you know, without actually being able to test it like we're doing you may not even know what it's doing it's you know so it feels natural it basically. does it does and it doesn't interfere with the way you would drive 
which I like. It doesn't interfere with backing up a trailer, which I like. Okay. All the things that I would have uh, worried about, are they taking care of all that. So I would say that that's a good system. Now, there's a depth of cruise control. We have a lot of tech, the Lincoln Jaguar. They all had it way back when. And this is, you know, a first with a trailer, with the, the trailer uh, control that it has. And that's another thing they've done on this truck is their sway control is improved. It actually will come on quicker. The other system, you had to be really in a dangerous place okay. before it came on. But this trailer sway system will come on sooner and more gradual, so it's actually, we'll be able to use it more often. Uh, but that's what it does. It actually controls, of course, the tr truck brake left and right to steer you straight. And on the trailer, it just will apply brakes when it needs it. So you've got all that working for you on the new trailer sway control. Oh, well, they're jumping down. I guess I could do that, but I'd have to go around him to actually know what I was doing. So we're going to go around him. Yeah, if, if, it's, if it's safe to do so. Yeah. I'll get over there, and then I'll play with it, and I'll slow it down. Because right now, I'm going to be locked onto him, and I don't want to be locked onto him. I'm going to pull over. So, yeah, watch the speed up, see what it does. So let's go over the adaptive steering system one more time. Okay. And it's basically, um, you can think of it as like a variable ratio steering, which works automatically, uh, um, depending on the, the truck's speed and other parameters. And actually, it has a special tow mode uh, variation of the system, right? Right, right. Where it actually sort of um, decreases the angle um, of your input because they don't want, you know, the, the system doesn't want you to sway too much, right? Right, right. And this is a neat system where it has electric motor in the steering wheel with a worm drive, and that's how it operates. Now, I've driven Caterpillars, cat loaders, and they had a system that came out 20 years ago. It's so cool. If you steered fast, it made the loader move slower. If you steered slow, it made it move faster, and that would stop a lot of accidents from oversteering. And this is quite different than that. This is really remarkable how well this works. But, uh, yeah, going on the tow mode, I mean, you've got, you've got several adaptions there, so it can actually adjust to a different perimeter for, mm -hmm. you know, what you do with the trailer, which I really like. But it's so cool, is that, like I'm saying, you don't know what's working, if, unless you have a camera on you watching you do the different ways. And we did have a test truck where we could turn it off and on. Normally on a system, you don't turn it off. No, there's no way right. to defeat it. If you if you opt it, it's an optional feature. Yeah, right? exactly. But if you have it on your Super Duty, um, you cannot really manually shut it down. Yeah, and I'm actually about 51 miles an hour according to the the, the, the uh, regular dial, the analog dial. Okay. So I might. But you're set be, at 50. Yeah, I'm set at 50, and I think 50 is probably closer with this because you know analog's never quite exactly on what a digital is. But it's staying right there. Look at that. I mean, we're going down 7 percent, sometimes 8 percent for eight miles into Dillon from the tunnels, and it's doing its job with 30,000 pounds of trailer. You know, we are gross combined over 40 in that range so we're half yeah. class 8 like a Peterbilt yeah we're doing the whole thing with a uh, big truck of course the eye gauntlet is 8 mile run right all the yeah. way from the Eisenhower Johnson's tunnels at 11,158 feet above sea level and we're heading back down into Dillon area and that's uh, just below 9,000 feet right uh, give and take so there's a big uh, elevation change and um and the truck, what's your bottom line on the downhill? I mean, what, well, how can you complain about never touching the brakes, never doing but steering? I mean, there is no, that's the, anybody can drive these trucks. That's what it is in the old days. We had to have skill. We had to know which gear ratio to buy. We had to know all those things. This one only comes with a 430 rear end. It only comes in a crew cab, long bed. I mean, there's really, you can't make a mistake on buying this setup for a trailer. It's ready to go. And the biggest trailer's out there, it's ready to go. You know, which is, is interesting. And the maximum me. rating on this truck is uh, 32,500 pounds. Right? right, and that's with a gooseneck. You know, I'm a big gooseneck fan. I'm not, you know, the RV guys, but they're, I think it's, it was a 27 and change on a gooseneck. Yeah, on, a on the fifth, fifth wheel. wheel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so the gooseneck will give you the maximum load. So that tells you something, folks. That a gooseneck trailer is a strong trailer. Don't be thinking that this just has that little ball, that it's not like a big fifth wheel. Is, you know, it's not. This is very strong. And this is a three-inch ball. Three-inch ball. So that comes with this. You get both two five sixteenths and a three-inch ball, and the big brackets for the safety chains. You got a giant safety chains for this. But that's it. The three-inch ball. This is coming. So all your trader deers out there, start get working on it because you're going to be selling traders with forty thousand pound ton weight available, and it's going to be three-inch balls, just like Australia. So you got to have to have a three-inch coupler. So it's right? coming. It's coming. You got to get some traders ready for these. Uh, these big balls and we've I've called around I've talked to some uh, trailer manufacturers and uh -huh. 
not many of them don't have a three-inch coupler for this. That's true. It's still new for the U.S. It is a new thing, and it's coming. You know, when you got a truck capable of thirty-two thousand five hundred pounds, you know, you if you want to use that capacity, you've got to have a trailer coupled ready to match the ball. So we're done with the downhill. Look at that. I All still right. haven't touched the brake. Should I actually brake now? Yeah, you that, should because we're exiting. <laughs> we're exiting now. Okay. Um, but let's go up the hill, and I'm really excited. I want to see, you know, the 925 pound feet of torque, how it goes up the hill. Um, this is really exciting stuff.